Hi guys, I am meal prepping today for the next like four days. So I wanted to show you that. Please excuse how completely disgusting I look. I lifted in this this morning and I've just been home doing work. So yeah, hair is pretty cute. But I wanted to show you my fridge because um, asparagus was on sale this week, so you know I bought like nine pounds. It was $1.69 a pound. Are you kidding me? And then zucchini was on sale too. We've got all the asparagus and the zucchini. I crock potted a bunch of chicken. And how I did that was I literally turned on the crock pot on low, threw in a bag of frozen chicken, threw the seasoning on top, and I let it cook overnight. And bam, you've got prep chicken. If you don't mind that pulled chicken consistency, I found that is the easiest way to prep your chicken. I do prefer to like cut it up in cubes and saute it all, but when you're doing like four pounds, that takes forever and I just don't have time. So I'm prepping all of my chicken meals and then I'm also gonna do my cream of rice and oat bran meals in bulk. Like I said, for the next, I need Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and tomorrow's a high carb day. So that day's gonna be a little bit different than the other days, but I'm gonna show you what I'm doing, show you what the meals look like. I'm also gonna warn you that all the chicken meals are going to be chicken and asparagus, so sorry, it's not gonna be crazy exciting. It doesn't have to be because it's efficient. I'm all about efficiency when it comes to meal prep. Okay, so what we're about to do couldn't be easier. I have all 12 containers lined up. That's my chicken meals for the next four days. So I put this whole thing of chicken on a scale, zeroed it out, and I'm gonna take out 112 grams into each container. So that's exactly 112, and then I just move on to the next, and I do it for all of them. asparagus under the broiler for seven minutes. Show you what it looks like. Be quiet, oven. It starts to get brown on top and I just take it out and toss it around. Woo, it's steamy. So you just take your tongs, toss it around, and that's it guys. This is done. It's like still crisp but perfectly flimsy. And we're gonna throw these into our chicken meals. So I just put a little bit, about a cup, into each container. So like I said, tomorrow's a high carb day. So I ate Oprah and cream of rice five times throughout the day. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna add up all my Oprah and grams, which comes to 65, and I'm gonna cook that, and I'm just gonna do it on the stove because it's easier um, than microwaving this a bajillion times. And then I need 100 grams of cream of rice. So first I'm gonna get the Oprah started on the stove and then I'm gonna add 100 grams of cream of rice and then I'm gonna put it into five containers and that'll be day one. Um, and then for the next four days I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna do a mini version of that for each meal. So I did, I'm doing all day one right now, but 
for day two, day three, day four, I'm gonna cook up meal one all together, meal two all together, and then meal three all together, if that makes sense. Um, so meal one, I get 15 grams over and 13 grams cream of rice, so I'm gonna triple that and make three days worth and then divide it evenly, and that'll be three meal ones. I put way more water in than you actually need because I don't like to add water when I add the cream of rice. So we're gonna stick that on the stove on high until it starts to boil and then turn it down to low. Cooking on low for a few minutes. Now I'm gonna add 100 grams of cream of rice. So I put that on the scale, zero it out and I pour until there's 100 grams in there, which is like kind of a lot. <laughs> so I check, so that was only 38 grams I just put in. Check every little bit. Okay, 98, so that's close enough. So then I'm just gonna let this cook for about five minutes or so until it's nice and thick, and I'm gonna add some stevia, and that's done. So you get it to the thickness that you personally desire, and that's about like that for me. And I'm gonna throw some vanilla extract and stevia in there and portion it out. And that's how you do it, guys. And you might notice I didn't weigh them because tomorrow I am supposed to evenly eat my carbs, but as long as I'm getting them all in and they're all equal, the right grams, doesn't necessarily matter if they're exactly perfect for each meal. So two of those I'm having with egg whites and ones with whey protein, and then two with chicken. But like I said, I'm going to do the next three days of my cream of rice and oats the exact same way. I'm just gonna do it times three. So I hope that this meal prep video helped you out. I know a lot of you guys asked to see kind of like a full meal prep video. Um, so that is what I'll be eating for the next four days. I'm gonna throw some more chicken in the crock pot and get that going. And that's gonna wrap up this video, you guys. If you found it helpful at all, please give it a thumbs up. And let me know what other kind of bikini prep videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.